Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today we're going to talk about a nifty little DC-DC converter. I believe this one is adjustable, has a little um, tensiometer on there. It's adjustable from 45 volts to uh, 390 volts, and I was using it in some of my experiments to charge up photo flash capacitors to explode water. And uh, so this is the power supply that I used, and it steps up, I think uh, I was using... Um, Let's see, about 12 volts input, and uh, getting much higher voltage output, adjusting it with this potentiometer here. Okay, so let's do some testing on this. Okay, looks like it has finally arrived, and let's take a look what's, what's in here. Okay. Two circuits for charging my capacitors. Take a look at this. Okay, there we go. This is a DC to DC converter. And uh, it's supposed to be like, I think, take 12 volts up to about 390 volts variable, so I have to test this out. Could make a pretty cool power supply out of something like that. Okay, got two of them. Of course, one is none, right? If you burn out the first one, you don't have anything. And if you do something good with the first one, you might want a second one to try doing stuff with. And they ship for about the same price, so let's give this a shot and see, what, see how this thing works. Okay, so now we have our DC-DC converter here hooked up. Uh, the writing's very small, but positive is on the left-hand side and negative is on the right-hand side. Now hooked up to a 12-volt motorcycle battery. And the output, see this is the input here, here's the output there. It says in there and out there. And the out's hooked up to there. And uh, I don't have the power on yet, but let's uh, hook the power up to this guy. Okay, there we go. And so we're getting uh, about 78 volts out. And there is a little tiny potentiometer here. I have a screwdriver to try to twiddle with that. So we'll see if we can change the voltage by twiddling with that potentiometer. It looks like it's going up. 85, 86, 87. Now this is claimed I needed to charge some capacitors up to uh, about over 300 volts. It was claimed that this power supply could do that. Okay. So we'll see what this limit is. Okay, so we're up to 107. There and 23. This must be like a 10 turn potentiometer on this guy. Like we're still going up. 200. 
300. Okay. Uh, 325. Ooh, look at that, 400 volts. Uh, I don't know, should I push it? 402. I think that's about the limit of what this thing will do. I'll back it off a little bit. Okay, very cool. So it looks like our power supply is doing exactly what it's promised to do. Okay. Let's check the specs on this. Okay, and just for completeness, let's check the voltage. I think it was 12.8 before I started, 12.7. About a normal motorcycle battery there. Okay. So there we go for the voltage input. Hooked it up to the voltage input that time. Okay, so here's the specs for that device. And it uh, looks like I paid a, almost $18 for each one. And they're claiming 45 volts to 390 output. And uh, 8 to 32 input. Okay. That looks pretty similar to our devices here. Uh, let me try going down to see uh, what the lower end of the voltage is, because they're, they're claiming down to 45. It'd be good to be able to, if you want to make a variable power supply, if, it'd be good if it goes to the whole range. Okay. I believe we started out a uh, higher voltage than that. Okay, so let's... Uh, Twiddle the voltage down now. Okay. And we are down to 73, 72, 71, 70, 69. So I'm thinking if you wanted to make a power supply out of this thing, like if I wanted to, I would try to desolder maybe this potentiometer and put my own with some wires on it or something. Something that would be nice for the twiddle. But, um, or if you just want a constant power supply that you just set or something, I guess you would just twiddle with the screwdriver. Okay, 48, 47. 46, 45, 44, okay. Oh, come on. And I think we might hit the limit there, so 44.3. Okay, that looks like our device is working the way we want it to. Kind of bottoms out there. 44 point something or other so 45 so it does uh, cover the full range of specs okay very cool be able to make some cool power supplies with this okay. anyway this is uh, dr. James and thanks for watching